Hello, uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, Windows folders. Um, Windows folders are uh, how the Windows organizes its files. Um, so first of all, we're going to look at the C drive. So if I click on the Start menu and click on Computer, you'll see that our uh, Windows Explorer opens up and you'll notice that there we have our hard drive and that's our usually our C drive. Um, that acts like a one giant folder that holds all the rest of the things on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up the folder and now we're looking at all of the folders contained on your C drive. Okay, so there are many 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 folders. Now as a beginning computer user you don't need to understand all of these folders. Uh, really what Windows does is to create a user experience they, they make a few folders on your computer special and those are those folders that you interact with. And we can look on Windows Explorer here uh, at those special folders. So the first is desktop, downloads, and then in your libraries uh, it's documents, music, pictures, and video. A library is a little bit different than a folder. It's a collection of folders that Windows puts together and presents to you as one thing. So for example, in your documents library, you have your My Documents, that's a single folder, and it's collected into your documents library that are listed as, as one thing. Okay, so today we're going to just uh, create a folder, save a file into that folder, and then uh, basically find that folder again and open up the file. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, click on Desktop, and notice that uh, you see my Recycle Bin here and you'll see the recycle bin right on my desktop over here. Um, so we can go ahead and close this Windows Explorer. And now I'm on my desktop. And so how do I create a folder? Well, the desktop is just a display of one folder on your computer. It acts like every other folder. So I can go ahead and right click, uh, hover over new, and then click on folder. Okay, a new folder is created. It's already uh, um, opened up, notice that the new folder is highlighted in blue. I can click off of that. Let's say I want to rename the folder. There are a couple different ways to do this. I can click on it, wait a second, then click again, and the new folder name will become editable. Or I can right click on it and select rename, and then new folder also becomes editable, and I can rename it. I'm going to call this folder school. Okay, let's go ahead and open up our folder school. So I do that by double clicking. And then we have notice Windows Explorer comes right up. I can see the folder that I'm in by clicking on, um, by looking at the top. This is called the path. So I'm on my C drive and a folder called users and a folder called windows and a folder called desktop. And finally I'm in a folder called school. This area where it says folder is empty, this is the area where you'd see your other folders contained within the folder or the files contained within the folder. So let's go ahead and we're going to get it. We're going to create a couple of more folders inside of our school folder. So I right click, I select new folder, and I'm just going to go ahead and type and I'm going to call this English. Okay, now I can copy and paste folders. So I can right click on this folder, select copy, right click in the empty space of the folder I'm in, and click paste. And notice I get English copy. Okay, it's already highlighted, so I can click it once again. It becomes editable, and I can rename it Math. Okay, now remember, I copied English, so it's still on my clipboard. So I can right-click again and click Paste. I get another English copy. I can click into it. I could also right-click and click Rename. Click Type Science. Okay, so I've created a couple folders, or a few folders. Now let's go ahead and try to save a file into the folder I've created. So I already have uh, Microsoft Word open. So notice that I can go ahead into Microsoft Word. I'm just going to type in English assignment. So I bet you can't guess where we're going to save this, uh, this file to. So I have a blank file. So now I'm going to choose where to save it. Okay, this is one of the most important things to do on Windows because you need to know where you're saving to in order to know where to go to open the file back up later on. So we click on the File tab, click Save As, and now just like our Windows Explorer came up, now our Save As dialog comes up. 
Okay, and on the left, I can go ahead, I can click into any folder that I want. So I can click, in this case, it starts me off in my documents library because oftentimes that's where people would like to save things. I'm going to go ahead and click on desktop. I'm going to find my school folder. Double click it to open it. Now I'm inside school, so I'm going to double click to open English. And I'm going to save it as English assignment.x. So I go ahead and click save. Okay, so notice that now instead of untitled document, it says English assignment.x. So let me go ahead and close this. And let's say that it's later on in the day or later on in the week or in the month, and I uh, want to go back and open up my English assignment. So I would go back to my school folder. Notice I have English here. Open up the English folder, and there's my document. So now I can just double click it, and we'll open up right in, oh, into the Word program. Okay, so that is how you use folders. Go ahead and create some on your own. Uh, create a document, save it to your new folder, uh, and, and practice a little bit. Good luck.